Hi everyone, Liam here and welcome to this match proving prediction for the match between Andy Murray and Karen Hatchinov in the first round in Cincinnati. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video, as always, please like and subscribe if you like content on the channel. It really helps us grow the tennis section community. I'm also going to the US Open for the first eight days this year. There's going to be so much content coming onto the channel every single day, so make sure you subscribe to check it out. We're gonna have a very interesting matchup here in the first round of Cincinnati. Andy Murray against Karen Hatchinov. You know, it's, I find it a bit weird. We haven't heard yet from Andy Murray the situation on his injury. I mean, you know, he came out on court ahead of his match against Yannick Sinner in Toronto and withdrew because he had an abdominal injury. But we haven't heard much since. You know, whether he was actually going to be playing Cincinnati, whether he's going to be recovering for tour for for the U.S. Open. So I'm really unsure whether this match is actually going to go ahead. And if it is to go ahead, I'm not too sure how much Murray will be able to play at his absolute best against the. Uh, you know, a guy like Karen Hatchinov, who will make him play hard if he does have an have an injury. But Karen Hatchinov is also coming back from an injury himself. I mean, he had a stress fracture after Roland Garros, and that made him withdraw from the entire grass court season and didn't even play in Toronto or any warm up events coming into uh, Cincinnati. So he will really be wanting to try and find some form in Cincinnati ahead of the U.S. Open, where last year obviously he reached the semi-finals and he has a lot of ranking points to defend. Hatchinov, obviously a great player on the hard court. I saw him play at the U.S. Open in person last year incredible hitter on the ball and just really makes you play and like he, he's a great move around the court and he just makes you play he's not one of those players sometimes he can go for you know winners off the forehand and the backhand and his serve is great placement but he can sometimes just stay in the rally and really just wear players down just by his consistency which is great to see but Murray does exactly the same thing so I think they're very sort of similar in each other the Murray and Hachinov in, in that way but they haven't played in about six years. They played last time in 2017 at Roland Garros, I believe, where Murray won in straight sets. I mean, Murray back then, obviously much more experienced than Hachinov. But coming into this one, it's going to be tough. I think that's the only head-to-head -head meeting they've had. There's not much else we can go on. I would say if Andy Murray was, you know, in his best form and didn't have that injury, you know, sort of the form that we saw him play against Taylor Fritz in Washington or something like that, I would definitely see him winning this match. But with the abdominal injury and the uncertainty around his sort of physical performance at the moment, I'm sure Karen will be able to get something going here. I don't think Karen will want to come into his first match back and lose straight away. So I think Karen might be able to steal a win here if Murray is going to be playing not at 100%. But if Murray is going to be playing at 100%, I definitely see this match going to three sets. So that's my prediction. It's sort of more of a if what scenario. If Andy Murray's not at 100% and his abs are not really working too well, Kachanov should win the match. If Murray is at 100%, but Hachinov, you know, shows up, I think it'll go to three sets. So I think definitely it's going to be a tie match, but I'm leaning more towards Hachinov in this one. 